I'll run through the Hereford team for you again. In goal number one, Matt Yates. Two, Kieran Thomas. Three, Danny Greenslade. Four, Tommy O'Sullivan. Five, Jordan cullen Lybert, skipper. Six, Josh Dowling. Seven, George Lloyd. Eight, Tom Owen Evans. Nine, Kyle Finn. Ten, James Roberts. And eleven, Mike Simmons. On the bench for the Bulls, Harvey Smith, Elliot Richards, Theo Wharton, Joel Dielna, and Martin Horsell. Uh, Chester in all yellow. Um, Hereford, of course, in their traditional white and grey tops, black shorts, and black socks. Well, we had a false start kickoff because one of the Chester players, uh, the number nine, Brad Jackson, crossed the centre line too quickly but we are underway now Chester kick off going from left to right down the slope towards the meadow end in the first half as a first touch for Dan Mooney takes it out of play for a goal kick I did notice uh, the two joint managers Bernard Morley Anthony Johnson of uh, Salford City fame they were in the centre circle an hour hour and a half ago and they they noticed that there was a slope uh, made visible gestures that uh, it went from uh, one end to the other down to the meadow end so that may have been in their thinking um, pre-match if they won the coin toss as the back pass is dodgy for Chester and it will result in a Hereford corner but very very indecisive defending from number three Simon Brand James Durkin and Chester try and play it through the middle out to the right hand side for Dan Mooney once again taking on Danny Greenslade just outside the box onto the left foot wants to get the shot away it gets the shot away but it's rising over the top of the crossbar into the meadow end from about 25 yards so Tom Owen Evans whose free kick delivery wasn't the best on Boxing Day has an early chance here to possibly shoot but it's an ambitious range he the side yet. who's taking it have they? he's whipped it in Owen it's a good delivery Simmons goes up for it House and gets the header oh, on an awful <laughs> clearance it ends up being a nice little back pass to his goalkeeper obviously not a deliberate one good turn from Mooney in centre field and it will stay in play and Simmons is on the side but he's got no support at the moment down by the left corner flag up against John Moran holds it up tries to turn and head along the goal line and he's beat Moran how's the cut back he's trying a little pirouette Mike Simmons <laughs> and wins the corner <laughs> Mike Simmons is a tad confident <laughs> methinks he did well though down his, down his near side didn't he? he held the ball up and then one on one with the centre half stood him up got into the box Owen Evans flights it in Keepers punched it away one handed. Now the number eight, George Green, making his first start for the club. Twists and turns, just loses his footing a bit under pressure from fellow number eight, Owen Evans. He goes back to former Salford defender Steve Howson. Big booming diagonal down the left hand side is a decent one. And Kieran Thomas takes a touch on the chest, goes down looking for the free kick, doesn't get it. And a chance for Chester and a good save by Yates, who grasps onto the rebound as well. Snapshot towards the near post was brilliantly saved by Yates, good one hand to it. And he managed to snaffle the rebound as well. Long kick forward to Simmons who helps it on. Looking for Roberts. And Roberts goes down looking for a penalty. Nothing doing. Finn keeps it alive by standing up to the back stick. And George Lloyd will get there. He goes down. No, no penalty either. Just losing their footing really. And Chester can bring it away. But uh, incidents at both ends. So we will resume. 16 minutes on the clock. After around a four minute delay. As Matt Thompson goes off early on a stretcher. With a presumed presumed uh, fractured or broken leg or part of his leg let's so hope not eh? Hereford have the attacking throw with Greenslay look, finding Roberts and it's put out for another attacking Hereford throw from Dan Moran John Moran rather now Finn to Owen Evans little nutmeg gets it back from Greenslay down by the left corner flag little turn and nutmeg and Finn takes over in the box cuts it back almost picked out the run of Roberts couldn't quite connect with it it was maybe just a fraction behind him and it runs out of play on the far side for a Chester throw the away side have a throw in front of the visiting supporters around 300 expected to make the trip today Simmons holds it up right hand side prods it through to Roberts tries to drive towards the edge of the D gets onto the left foot shoots but it's a weak shot and it's an easy gather for Grant Shenton Chester did drop down from the National League last season after the th three previous seasons finishing 12th, 17th and 19th and of course they did go down the previous season 
as Roberts latches onto Simmons' flick on, gets towards the six yard box, cuts it back but straight to a yellow shirt in Gary Roberts. And unlike on Boxing Day, say Hereford have enjoyed the better of proceedings so far. But Chester have arguably had the best chance with the save from Yates. Now Simmons on the left hand side after a mistake by Chester, but his cut back is scooped up into the air by Simon Grant. And Grant Shenton lets it bounce once before collecting comfortably. Referee yeah, deemed it over aggressive. Free kick comes in almost by the corner flag to the back stick. Headed down and Yates just about clings on as a Chester player came marauding across the six yard box to try and uh, intervene and tap the ball into the empty net. But Yates just got there. He kicks up field looking for Simmons. Two runners in front of him in Finn and Roberts. But Simmons loses out this time. Good header by Owen Evans. George Lloyd battling. And Finn, 25 yards out, goes for a shot. Parried away by Shenton as he dived to his left hand side. Players falling over themselves and eventually the back pass to Yates who clears first time to halfway. Simo can bring it down and calmly roll it to Finn. Has Greenslade overlapping and he slips it down the channel for James Roberts. Tries to take on Gary Roberts, the captain. Roberts against Roberts in the box. Slips it to Greenslade. Greenslade shoots. Scores! (laughs) Danny Greenslade gets forward and gets the goal. First, Half an hour gone. First goal for the club, I believe. Good play again, wasn't it? Mike Simmons holds the ball up, plays it out to this near side. James Roberts makes a good run down the touchline. One-on-one with the defender again. Stands the defender up, waits for the runner. This time, finds the correct pass. Danny Greenslade's got forward from left back. One touch to get it out of his feet. Lashes it in at the near post. Gives Simon, um, Grant Shenton the goal. No chance. I think just overall, probably on the balance of play, what we deserve. Hooked over the top by Chester into the centre circle area. Colony Lieber, the captain, charging forward and wins the header. Helped on over the top by Roberts. Lloyd charging forward. Felt he was obstructed and goes down. No free kick. Waters, the left back. Finds Roberts. And Grant clears under pressure from James Roberts. Loose ball falls to Finn. Plays it early to Simmons. Traps it well. Under pressure from Housen. Greenslade is forward again, full of confidence. Looks to play the one two. Finn's gone down. Now Simmons rolls it back to Greenslade. Really good cross. Oh, and George Lloyd could have got the tap in at the far post, a bit like the goal he scored recently against Bill Ricky, but it was just behind him. And uh, Grant has it, has time to turn and boot a diagonal ball forward, but it's just gone straight down the middle. Greenslade has to watch it carefully and nicely heads it to in there. Sullivan. Tried to find Owen Evans, but it's intercepted. And then Green can bring it through the middle for Chester. Gets to the edge of the box. Right hand side is Mooney. Decent cross. Good defensive header, but it's still alive. And a good save by Yates at the near post. Very good save by the keeper. Man, the back stick. Couldn't beat Matt Yates at the near post. But a hand up high and clawed it away. We've already had. 1 minute 25 of added time at Edgar Street. Still Hereford 1, Chester 0, Danny Greenslade's shot from the edge of the box after half an hour separating the sides. Moran with the throw, takes a bounce, headed forward by Greenslade, trapped by Roberts. Looking to release Lloyd, it's a good one, can Lloyd finish? It's just over the bar. More good football, more good interplay between Roberts and Lloyd. To Finn, but it's just hooked up, and anywhere will do from Steve House. And in the end, towards halfway, Gowling's come and challenged it, headed it back forward, nodded down by House to Green, who tries to send it over the top early. Decent looking ball has to be carefully watched by Kieran Thomas. Beautiful first touch, finds Owen Evans, who's pushed over, but the referee says play on, and Chester can count it. Good tracking back from Owen Evans, though, having been upended, and now he brings it away. Oh, lovely little side foot to get past this man and he releases it down the right hand side but he's asking a lot of Tommy O'Sullivan and it well, won't go out of place kept it alive and prods it down the right wing for Roberts heads towards the penalty area crosses towards the near post it's a fizzing cross at the near post but it's straight into the midriff of Shenton corner to the Bulls Finn again left footed another really inviting delivery headed up into the air by Housen I think it was still not away by Chester Cullinan Lieber down Simmons off the line and it's it's in the back of the net and Simmons celebrates and wheels away. The goal stands. And Hereford lead by two goals to nail a scrappy finish from Mike Simmons, but he doesn't care. So integral to Hereford's revival. And he has Hereford's second goal of the afternoon. I think, to be fair, 
OK, not a good call, but it was a decent call under the bar. They, they cleared it, won the second header, won the third header, and as it bounced out, Mike Simmons has swung a foot at it. There is a Chester arm, whether it's then gone in off the arm, off Simmons' finish, whether you know referee would have given a penalty. There was certainly an arm up, and it's ricocheted in off that, but it was I think... Colin and Leiber that headed yeah, it forward, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was just, just really what we needed. Chester were just about, just starting to get up a little bit of a head of steam, and they had a, a period again, five, eight minutes putting a bit of pressure on us and you know we've defended it but well but they, they didn't goal. deal with the corner yeah. that was the point quickly we get Chester on the move searching ball forward and Matt Yates has come out of his goal oh. and fortunately it's gone wide of the post Yates kicks out of his hands Simmons being manhandled by House and the ball bounces once bounces twice Simmons chests it then plays it out to the left hand side for Finn puts a low cross in oh, oh. inches away from being three George Lloyd at the back stick stretching couldn't divert it goalwards, it goes just behind for a goal kick. But a vicious low cross from Kyle Finn after good work from Simmons as again. ever to hold it up. <laughs> Simmons again. Well, we've had two and a half minutes of stoppage time. Hereford is surely going to extend their unbeaten home run over Chester to eight matches, going back to 1996. I was probably here that night. <laughs> yeah, <All> day. <laughs> I think we probably all were. Yeah. Gary Flickcroft scored for Chester. But yeah, be five wins and three draws from Hereford's last eight home games against the Blues. And the full time whistle goes to seal six points out of six for the Bulls at home over the festive period. They thought they warranted more from Bradford Park Avenue, that narrow 1 0 loss, but they've bounced back in style. 1 0 win against fifth place Kidderminster on Boxing Day. And a 2-0 win against third place Chester here at Edgar Street today.